come to my reaction to lead signing Cameron Borthwick Jackson on a season long loan from Manchester United. It's a signing that we knew was going to happen. You know, it's been you know rumored to be happening in the last few days. Apparently, he's been training with the squad, uh, and he has completed the signing this morning. Uh, waiting to find out the news. Um, and it's an interesting signing. I have mixed feelings on it. I mean, I'm hoping slash assuming that he's going to be a backup left back and not our left back. Obviously, with Barley, um getting injured in yesterday's game, still don't know the severity of that that injury. But I think it could be a few weeks. Could be a few weeks out, if not a few months out. Um, he might end up playing. He might end up being our first team left back. But in my opinion, you know, I'd kind of want him as backup. Uh, you know, to uh, either Barardi or a different left back we bring in. So, but the good thing about I mean, it is a good sign if we definitely need a left back, especially with Barardi getting injured. It's good to see Christian getting the players that we need. Seems to have neglected to do over the last few. You know, during the transfer window, he's kind of. I, I don't think he's gone about it the right way. He's brought in players that we didn't particularly need that much at the start. And then he's kind of, you know, he's brought in Pennington recently, you know. He's, and he's making the signings that we really needed at the start of the transfer window at the end. Having said that, I do think it's good that he got in most of the foreign signings early on. That gives him time to get used to, you know, not only the, the country, but also the team, you know. And that, that's a good method, in my opinion. I mean, Wolfgang Jackson, he was alone at Wolves last season and he, he couldn't break into their team. He didn't play that much. Um, and that was a fairly, fairly poor Wolves side last season. No, this season they're looking like promotion candidates. Last season they were down near the bottom, you know, down near the bottom half of the league. So it is a bit concerning that he couldn't get into their team. On the other hand, there must be something about him if he's managed to stay at Man United, play a couple of games in the Van Hal. If he's managed, you know, if Man United have, kept, have offered him a professional contract, he must have something about him. They've kept him, you know, they've kept him on all these, you know, for a few years. Then he must have some talent. He must, they must think he has some potential to go on and play for Man United. So he, you know, by that logic, he should be good enough at a championship level. But I guess we'll wait and see. And also, one other point we've got about this is: does this now mean that Denton should be going out on loan, or what does this mean for Denton? I mean, because realistically, if Wolfgang Jackson wasn't available for a game. And we had to put somebody at left back. There's almost a part of me that rather put Anita at left back than Denton because Anita looked solid at left back yesterday. So in some ways, it's not better that Denton goes out on loan. I personally don't think we use the loan market enough in terms of loaning out our youngsters. Uh, it's, I mean, Charlie Taylor, much as I hate him, but he was he was really good. And the, the reason he did well, in my opinion, was because he went out on loan to Fleetwood, who was their best player. Uh, I think it was their player of the year two years in a row, or only player in one year. I uh, went on loan and he got the experience. And Coyle's now doing that in League One. And I think he's going to come back and be better than ever. If There's no point in Denton staying at the club unless he's going to be a backup who is actually going to get played if Jackson isn't, you know, Wolfgang Jackson isn't available or Bavardi isn't available. But I honestly, I'd rather have Anita at left back, in which case he's in my fourth choice left back. So it's just, I, I personally, I would wait to see how severe Bavardi's injury is before deciding. But if we're not bringing any more left backs in, then I'll keep Denton. But if we're gonna bring if we're gonna bring one back, one more in, I'd loan out Denton. And if Bavardi's back by January, I'd then loan him out of the January transfer window. That's all from me. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, I will see you next time.